If you have a small craft space like me and you struggle to find a way to photograph your card or other small projects, you need something that requires minimal space to store, is featherweight and something you can pull out to create a clean and simple backdrop to showcase your projects. And you won't even have to spend time clearing up your small space every time you need photos. Keep watching the video and I'll show you how. So let's first talk about the supplies. I'm using a foam board here, but you can use a piece of cardboard or plywood or anything lightweight if you'd like to go that way. Next, I have this roll of contact paper that looks like faux wood finish, but you need to pick a design or pattern of your choice. But do remember keeping the background neutral and as clean as possible is best for creating beautiful photos. We also need a scraping tool to remove the air bubbles but if you don't have a scraping tool, a credit card will work just fine. Next, of course, we need a pair of scissors and that's all we need to get started. But before you adhere the contact paper, make sure your base is nice and clean and completely free of dust because any dust particles on the base would create bumps and air bubbles. I'm just using my camera flash as a paperweight here and desperately trying to find the corner so I can remove the backing paper. And at this point, I'm just going to remove small bits of the backing paper so I don't get the contact paper um, misaligned. And I am going to stick it down nicely. And uh, with my scraping tool, I'm going to just try to remove all the air bubbles but at this point I realized that there was an uneven edge so I kind of lifted the contact paper again and brought it a little further over the edge and um, I'm just trying to get the air bubbles out over here and repeating the same thing and when you do this make sure you are releasing the backing paper bit by bit because if you remove too much at a time one is that it's going to be hard to get all the air bubbles out because you'll have quite a bit of air bubbles in there and also of course it might get misaligned because the contact paper is sticky at the back and can become hard to handle and of course i'm making sure that i'm removing all the air bubbles that i can see all the bumps and things i can see as i'm going along And so here's the final bit. I'm almost there and all I do now is take the pair of scissors and just cut through the contact paper very close to the edge of the board. And even if there is a little bit of overhang, it doesn't matter. And by the way, I'm going to save that release paper because that comes in handy if I am doing some gluing or using um, sticky paper or stickers or something and it's uh, because it's a release paper meant for sticky paper it's um, nice to have that on hand and I am just going to cut along the uneven edge and just clean up that edge and this board is ready except you can see that there are still some bumps naturally as I was unrolling the sheet you know air bubbles keep getting in no matter how much I scrape so I'm giving it one final scrape down here and I'm making sure that it's nice and evened out. This is ready. I am done with the board. 
this you can see that it really didn't take much time so this is the card project that i wanted to photograph and you can see that i've now come in with my camera and i wanted to make sure that i was getting a nice and clean background here so just doing a quick test and um, making sure that i'm not seeing bumps and things in the background and all i'll do now is um, take a test shot and i will be ready to roll so you see that was a really clean photograph right there so now i'm ready of course now you are seeing me attach my flash to the camera but i'm turning the flash upward and a backward you'll see that in a second because i want diffuse light and flashing the photo directly is not going to create nice effects so i point the flash towards the ceiling so that the nice um the light is nice and diffuse and look at that how clean no shadows that is how a good photograph happens and i used to be a photographer in um in my day and i loved photographing products and food and things like that so i learned a few tricks and tips here and there so um maybe i'll do another video on how to take good photos of your projects but right now i found that um i needed to style the background a little bit otherwise it was looking too bare and um, that's never nice so i'm just lining up the ink i could have done a better job at styling but <laughs> right here i'm just kind of lining up all my uh my inks the inks that i used for this project and going ahead and taking a couple more shots there you see what a clean and simple background that was no effort needed and just a few minutes and you have that ready it's so lightweight you can pull it out and stow it anywhere you like okay right here i'm actually raising the card up on a couple of ink cubes because that is going to create a bit of separation from the background and it is going to blur out the the ink cubes a little bit and you are going to see the results in just one second there you go you can see the card there is a bit of shadow underneath but the the ink cubes are out of focus which creates a really nice focus on the card so here i am going to share the shots that i took with you look at how clean they look this was the second shot that had the ink cubes in focus and that's because the card and the ink cubes are on the same level but this one the card is separated from the background just a little bit so you see the ink cubes are out of focus so a couple more shots from different angles that will complete my photo project for this and i am so glad you joined me on this episode and i hope you enjoyed the video and you will take some inspiration from this video and go ahead and create your own background if you like the video please don't forget to like and subscribe because i would love your support to grow my channel Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.